Hi guys, just driving around and I come across this place. It's lovely, it's an old church, St Peter's Church. So we'll flip you around and you can have a look. So this section is like a newer section, for want of a better way of putting it. Dear memory of Giles, Lieutenant East Yorkshire Regiment, wounded Ypres 3rd, May 1915, died of wounds in military hospital 1950, aged 23. Jesus, makes you think, doesn't it? Says, are old ones here. Mary Ann Carter died January eighteen ninety one. Elizabeth, beloved wife of Daniel Harvey Hammond, she fell asleep January 7th, 1849, aged 28. Jesus. The problem with walking around these sort of places is you never know really where to stand. It's, I mean, I know now it's only a bit of ground and they're not going to mind, but. Showing a bit of respect, you know what I mean? So I'm carefully treading around here. 
I'm going to look over this beautiful looking cross. But I've got hopscotch a little bit. I don't like it. Eliza N. 1905 20th of June 1837 age, 66 years. Calm were the moments, the serene, when all his sufferings closed. No agony, no dying pain, no feature discomposed. Harriet, the beloved wife of Robert Cross, 1828. Oh, sorry, he died September 1907. Sorry if I'm stepping over your mate, sir. Lovely memory of Samuel Candler, age 84, 1837. Samuel Horace Candler, 1903. Oh, beautiful. It's a fitting place to rest. It's beautiful here. It's sort of on the top of a hill. Yeah, you're on top of a hill here. Let's take that, shall we? There we go. Yeah, you're on top of a hill here. It's lovely. It's quiet. Not religious or anything like that, but it's a nice place to rest. It's just it's unbelievable. You're just looking around. Look, there's, there's, you can see there's more down there. Come down here, there's more in there. You know, everybody dies and we've all got to go somewhere, but it brings it home a little bit. It's a nice place to rest though, I could rest here. For eternity, peaceful, there's twittering. Hmm. Alright, let's motor on off to where we're going. 